Hey guys, um, this is iPhone Hacker 90 again. Here with another video. I'm gonna show you guys how to get. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get CyberDuck or WinSCP to SSH onto your iPhone or or um, iPod Touch. So first of all, you're gonna download the link in the description. Um, for Mac, it's called CyberDuck. For for Windows Vista or when just Windows XP, it's called um, WinSCP. So you download WinSCP or CyberDuck. Then um, if you get CyberDuck, you go to Open Connection. And then if you have WinSCP, you open up WinSCP and it'll ask you for your ho host name. Host name. And then I'll show you what how to get your host name. It's really easy. Well, you connect your um, iPhone or iPod Touch, and then you go right into your settings, and then you go into your Wi Fi connection if you have one, and then it'll show your Wi Fi connection. And then it says IP address. That's your host name or um, server name. So you put your address, whatever you have there. It'll be like it'll be with all. It'll just be numbers and dots. And so once you've got that, once you've done that, it'll say SFTP SSH. Um, it should already be done that. Then um, you're gonna type your uh, server name in. Uh, just type mine in. Oh wait, I I did something wrong. Okay. Then your username is always gonna be root. Um, so you got your host name, then your it'll ask you for your username and password. Username is gonna be root, R O O T, and password is gonna be A L P I N E Alpine. Um, yeah, then you can on. Then you just go log in. So it finds the two files. Um, on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So once you find them, these are just two um, little access files. You could go to on Windows. You don't have this, um, but but if you're on Mac, you just go here. You could go into Applications, and then put in some applications you want. You want to SSH. Um, for Windows, you'll get like a bunch of things. You could go into Private Var. And then mobile applications, and then these are app other applications. These are applications you can get too. Oh, with the, they're just like hidden by names, but um, yeah, that's how you SSH. And um, to safely get out, just um, disconnect and uh, set your auto lock to never, because um, once it goes off, um, it'll want you to abort or reconnect. And if it doesn't connect, um, leave some responses um, or comments, please. And thank you for watching my video.